Hello traders, welcome to the YouTube channel of Elliott Wave Forecast. Today is 29th of January. I'm Helge and we are looking on the Digital Vault Acquisition Corporation stock. And the company is interesting. It is a blank check company and the idea behind is for the purpose of affecting a merger. Even though the company may pursue initial business with any industry and businesses but it intends basically to focus on combining with a leading tech company in october 2021 which has created a all-time high in the stock price the company announced a proposed merger agreement with trump media and technology group which is basically known for the creating of truth social platform so this is the company the basic idea of this and it became Pretty popular also on stock tweets now gaining 67,000 followers based on this bounce. We see already the company turning higher again and there's a high interest on it. Now let's dig into the charts, see what is happening there from the all-time lows we made here uh, all-time high back in October 2021, the month when it has been announced the merger of Trump company. And from there, we see a drop. From this highs, which was $175, it has lost more than 90%. It has dropped down to the lows of $12.34 back in March 2023. Now, this pattern lower is classical ABC, Elliott Wave zigzag pattern. A, B, this bounce has failed here and then we have broken again the loss of November which means we have the bearish sequence. So bearish sequence means that after ending A, B we should reach full 100%. Now full 100% is far beyond zero. So far beyond zero means here we should go towards full 100% which is below zero. It is impossible for stocks to break the lows of zero and now the logical consequence is that it will truncate at 0.618.0786. Also 0.786 is below zero. So now what is the target area is 16.58.0. So this area should be reached and indeed we have reached it in another five waves of wave C. So here now we see from the highs 5.35 and this zigzag has ended back in March. Now from the lows we see the bounce happening and obviously we are in the next bullish cycle. Interesting here that we are not in a corrective structure, we are in an impulse because if it is a corrective structure the first swing shouldn't go beyond 1618. Looking on the daily charts we see here 1-2 has finished and now wave 3 went far beyond 2618. Typically, if it would be corrective structure, then ABC shouldn't go beyond 1618, which is 3507. Obviously, it went past beyond 1618, so confirming impulse higher is in progress. Now we see 1, 2, 3, 4 might have finished already at 3190, and now we're in a wave 5. If this is a wave 5, then it can reach now, used based on the wave 4 as a reference, can reach. 6505, 7530, and even higher. Alternative view it is not 1, 2, 3, 4, it is 1, 2, 1, 2, and we're in a way 3 or 3. On the other hand, if this is 1, 2, 1, 2, then second nest shouldn't go that far. The idea that it went, went past 2618 means most probably that we have in fact ended way 3. And now, after ending wave 4, we're in a wave 5. So now, wave 5 should reach higher than end wave 1 in black. And next opportunity would be for traders to buy wave 2. So instead of buying here for the wave 5, better to wait for wave 1 to end. And then pullback in wave 2 will become next buying opportunity against the loss of $12.34 from the March. Investors can be looking to buy already at current prices because buying at 34 is a good deal if you are looking for more upside towards $175 and beyond because we shouldn't forget that if Wave 3 has started, the target long term is 187 
295. Now from current levels where we have $36 and if we look towards 300 then it is about 8 times, 10 times, so from 8 to 10 times X. Now if you're an investor you can buy and hold, if you're a trader you should be waiting first to wave 1 to end and then pullback in wave 2 will become next opportunity. How to trade it? If it will reach higher, for example, towards this 64.17, then pull back in wave A, wave B will end at 55.77, then next opportunity to buy it based on the principle how we trade at added wave forecast, equal X, then you can be looking to buy 38.25, stop below 27.43, and long term target using 1 and 2 in blue is towards 187.35 and even higher. So this is where we're looking for long-term digital vault acquisition corporation, high potential stock, high interest, looking for more liquidity in the market, target 187.35, 295 and even higher in a larger blue wave free. You can read more about this instrument on the page of edit wave forecast on the video blog here, digital vault acquisition corporation stock turning higher from January 29th from me. You can look again on the numbers, how to trade it, and also you can try our services 40 days trial for $10 only. You can unsubscribe anytime and for new clients for $10 you can try our services. We will be happy to welcome you as a new client. Also, we have Ultimate Elliott Wave Practical Workshop. Don't miss the class. Good opportunity to learn how to trade. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Bye. Until we see you all next time.